Hello and welcome back to the channel and today I have more to add to why Billboard's latest lists aren't based on facts. Thanks to the age we live in at the moment, the internet age, a little time spent on research is enough to know if a major publication is feeding you lies. Back in the day, we'll have to take their word for it based on their reputation, but these days fact checking is easier than ever. So yesterday, I covered Billboard's latest list of the greatest artists of all time, and Eminem ranked at number 22 on that list, a list that saw the likes of Drake, Taylor Swift, and many other less successful than Eminem based on commercial performance rank higher. So that list was easy to knock down, it wasn't based on what we traditionally know is used to measure an artist's success, which has traditionally been first and foremost album sales. In fact, just a decade ago, Billboard named Eminem the artist of the decade based on album sales, but this time around they decided to change the formula and in the process rewrite history. As a hip-hop fan, this doesn't just affect Eminem but legends like Tupac and Biggie because in the new format that Billboard has employed in ranking artists, they are nowhere close to the top rappers anymore because of this change and they have been surpassed by the likes of Drake who's yet to sell 12 million pure albums in his career. Even the legendary Garth Brooks with 6 albums that have surpassed the diamond has been surpassed by Drake and Taylor Swift according to Billboard, just to give you an idea of what's going on. So for a while we've all known that Recovery was the best-selling hip-hop album of the current decade based on pure sales at the moment, and in May 2019 it was estimated to have sold 4.85 million pure copies in the US. Overall, across all genres of music, this makes Recovery the fourth best-selling album of this decade. Now keep these numbers in mind. Towards the latter part of this decade, streaming took off and Billboard began to add streams with the term equivalent sales, so at the decade ends list, they have now placed Recovery at number 3. Now I'm going to do some math to show you guys why this is most likely inaccurate, even including streams, and why Recovery most likely is indeed the number one even including equivalent sales. Luckily for us, we have some numbers readily available thanks to the RIAA. These numbers aren't up to date like 2019 recent, but it's all we've got and they are perfect to get my point across. In my last video, I talked about how success is usually for the best part of 6 decades measured based on album sales and not singles, but I didn't give you guys the mathematical weight of albums compared to singles according to the RIAA. Now according to the association, one album is the equivalent of 10 singles, so you'd have to sell the equivalent of 10 singles from streams for it to count as one equivalent album sale. So we know Recovery is on the verge of 5 million pure sales in the United States, so let's see how singles from the album have sold divided by 10 to get Recovery's total equivalent sales in the United States. Love the Way You Lie is certified 12 times platinum, Not Afraid 10 times platinum, No Love 4 times platinum, Space Bound 2 times platinum, Cinderella Man platinum, Won't Back Down platinum, Talking to Myself, Cold Wind Blows and 25 to Life Gold. Now that's a total of 31.5 million singles sold from Recovery based on certifications when they were last updated. Remember, 10 singles is the equivalent of one album sale, which gives us an additional 3.15 million equivalent units of recovery sold, which brings recovery's total to 8 million equivalent units sold. These recovery figures aren't even up to date, but it's eligible for 8 times platinum at the moment based on these figures. Keep that in mind, so let's head back to Billboard's list of hip-hop albums of the decade where Recovery comes in third. Take care, that number one was recently, I mean September 2019 recent, certified 6 times platinum, which shows that Recovery has sold more, even including equivalent sales like I just did. 
Post Malone's Tony was certified three times platinum in June 2018, so unless Tony was able to sell an additional 5 million in the space of 16 months to outset recovery, which didn't happen, it doesn't deserve to be above recovery. I sent this tweet to Billboard requesting to know the criteria they are using to rank these albums, and they are yet to reply, but until they tell us what criteria they are using to rank these albums, you shouldn't believe any of their lists so far. Yesterday, I covered their greatest artists of all time, and that also didn't add up, and now mathematically, you can see that there is no way Stoney or Take Care have more equivalent sales than Recovery. Before we move on to the next part of the video, remember to hit the like button if you enjoy content like this, and if you're new, also hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss a video. According to Billboard this decade, Eminem doesn't make the top 10 R&B slash hip hop artists, he comes in at number 11, behind artists like Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne, Trey Songz. When he sold more albums and singles this decade than these artists. Just to give you an idea of how wrong someone will be when quoting Billboard as fact this time around, check out what the decade looks like for both pure sales and also equivalent album sales. For pure sales this decade, only Adele and Taylor Swift surpass Eminem, and overall career totals, Eminem still tops these two artists with over 25 million extra sales to spare, since Eminem is closing in on 50 million pure album sales in the United States. For hip hop artists, when we include equivalent sales, this decade, only Drake has more equivalent sales than Eminem. At this point, Chartmasters.org is more credible than Billboard, and I understand why Rolling Stone decided to start up their chart to compete with Billboard. Like I said earlier, this isn't just about Eminem, and according to Billboard, Drake and Taylor Swift are greater than Garth Brooks and Eminem that have sold more albums because of radio play and number of chart entries. Talk about quantity over quality, and remember, 10 singles only equals one album based on weight, so you get the point, and Eminem, even based on singles, surpassed 100 million roughly two years ago. So leave your thoughts below, like and subscribe if you haven't, and see you on the next one.